Okay, this one is another one that I just found. Might work for you. 1635 Channing. It is a little over 2,000 square feet. 2100, four bedrooms, three baths, two car garage with a pool. Nice lot, nice landscaping. And uh, sand finished stucco. Courtyard entryway. So you've got this little dealio here. And um, this one, what they did is it's just a normal two-car garage with a boatload of storage and accoutrements. And you've got um, the overhead storage, obviously, 12-foot ceilings and um, epoxy-coated floors. Looks like they insulated the garage door. And you have your access to the side yard. Um, so this is your garage access into the house itself. Uh, reason for that, I'll show you here in a second. What they did is they took the third bay and they made it into livable space. So that's what we're seeing here. Otherwise, there'd be access into the house from this area here. And as we come in and go to the right, you've got a bedroom, good size room, got a hall bath, full bath, and then you've got a secondary ensuite here as well. complete with walk-in closet. Plantation shutters. So those are can be pricey. Got the stone wrap inside the house and inside the foyer here. Great room concept. It's 18 inch ceramic once again. All the traffic areas, family room. Nice open floor plan. Now uh, I'm extending this direction here. Laundry room. And then you have your master quarters. Now there's no carpet in this house whatsoever, which can be really good. Um, again, you have the high ceilings, accent wall painting, big windows. And they have some sizable furnishing, furniture here, so big furniture will fit, no problem. Master bathroom. Then you got double vanities that are split with a knee space for so makeup area. Water closet, four by three shower, and um, we've got a nice size walk in closet. Again, no carpet whatsoever. Uh, gas appliances, gas cooktop, got uh, KitchenAid, crown molding, staggered cabinets, now the backyard is really cool, okay, here's in my opinion one of the best parts about the house, not only do you have this outdoor kitchen area complete with water faucet, looks like a pizza oven, extra gas line if you want to do something with that double air conditioners ground mounted of course 
and they did a lot of work in this backyard and here's what I'm going to show you nice size covered patio great mountain views out the back here We've got this nice sunken area here you know, a little artificial turf has a Santa Barbara theme going on which is kind of nice and you've got the overhead umbrella got no one directly behind you it is missing your attached spa but it backs up to a natural wash and you have the superstitions out your view fencing and no intrusive neighbors you got also the fire pit over here complete with seating area raised seating area at that and again, it just has that Santa Barbara kind of feel to it. So, old mission style. Very cozy, very quaint. Low maintenance landscaping. And this is just a few doors down from 1739 Channing. Uh, Price-wise, it's very comparable to both Channing and Jasmine. I think it slots right in the middle of both of them. But it's new to the market. Hummingbird feeder. A little hummingbird action going on as we speak. So, how you like me now? Oh, they've gone. Oh, they're back. Anyway. That's about a wrap for 1639 Channing. And oh yeah, um, price wise, I've got a flyer on it. It is, again, listed at 430,000. Four bedrooms, three baths, 2145 square feet. So again, it's very similar to one of the floor plans I have uh, made a movie for you earlier today. But they, in lieu of that third garage bay, they converted it into livable space. So, tomato, tomato. Okay, that's a wrap from 1635 North Channing. Hope you like this and uh, upload it and get it out to you here shortly lots of quail too all right